Welcome everybody to another Gotopia video. My name is Shadow Surfer. And before I begin, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I post videos every single week, so don't miss out on that. But today, we've got a brand new Gotopia update. Item of the month, Magplant 5000. I don't know what 5000 means. Hopefully it's cool. On behalf of Grotech Incorporated, we proudly present the incredible Magplant 5000. This device was created by top scientists using cutting edge technology and allows you to collect all items of a single type when dropped by breaking or harvesting and lets you plant or build directly from its storage. It has a storage capacity of 5000. 5000, what the? Like always, it's 200,000 gems. That's gonna take a hit to the bank, but uh, that's okay because I have ATMs. <laughs> just kidding. I hate buying these items on the months, man. They're so expensive. Okay, I think I'm just gonna go into just a random world. Um, so I don't even know what to name it. All right, that sounds good enough. Um, item of the month. Let's see. So this is a perma item, obviously. I just bought it for 200,000 gems. And there goes the gems. Ah, oh, that hurts every time. Okay, before. Can the gem stop going down, please? Oh my gosh, this is actually annoying. Hello? Oh, dude, I hate that sound. Okay, thank god the gem stopped. Okay, let's see, where is it? Uh, info. Tired of picking up things with your puny human- Puny human hands? I can tell you what, I'm not puny. I got moderator hands, boys. Only to put them down later with the awesome power of magnets, these woes will be a thing of the past. Grotech proudly presents the Magplant 5000, an all-in-one item-sucking and planting masterpiece. Simply target the machine to the seed or block of your choice. Okay, it only collects items from breaking blocks and harvesting. This seems actually pretty hyped up by, uh... A Ubisoft here, so hopefully it's pretty cool. Okay, actually, before I place this, I need to world lock this one. That's a diamond lock. Ah! Okay, break that down. All right. I don't know what I was thinking there. Okay, let's just place this down, see what happens. Choose an item to put in the mag plant. So, dirt. Oh, that's a cool animation. Ooh! Ooh okay, the machine is currently empty. I think... According to what happened in... Wait, what? Why is it not picking up the seeds? Oh, I probably have to put a seed actually in it. Yeah, that would be the, the smart move there, Shadow. Change item, choose item, third seed. Okay. Now, now we'll see what, what happens here. Oh! Look at it fly! Oh, it just disappeared. Hold on. <laughs> that actually looked pretty sick. <laughs> not gonna lie. Oh! It just goes straight into the machine. They're not even dropping. I want to chase one all the way from the edge of the world. I wonder if I can do that. Come on, dirt. Give me a seed. Oh, gem. Oh, there it goes. Go, 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 go. Oh, I guess it just disappears once it gets to a certain point. <laughs> but that's actually a pretty cool animation to see. It fly across your screen. I want to actually do it again. Oh, oh, two of them this time. Yeah, they just disappear after they get to a certain point. But that's cool. So I'm guessing if I can go into this. Yep, 10... Uh, dirt seeds, and then I could just grab it from here and retrieve that. There we go. So, what I'm wondering now, what if I change item, choose item, dirt block, and so what happens when I plant these, and then wait for them to grow for 30 seconds? Guys, I don't have 30 seconds. I'm the most impatient person in the world. I hate waiting on trees, man. Oh, thank God. All right. Oh, there we go. I'm a genius. Look at this. The, there's no blocks coming out because they're just going straight to the machine. That's actually really, really cool. Not gonna lie. I'm guessing it would be really useful for farmers. Yeah, so now there's 117 dirt in here. Wait, hold on. Okay, so I was honestly, I was kind of scared about what happens in drop games if a scammer were to get this so if it only says harvesting and collecting then if i drop it it shouldn't go to the machine okay that's good then so scammers can't even use this so that's good on you ubisoft for that one 
What did I just do? Hello? OMG. No bad play. <laughs> uh, no. No mod. No mod here. You mod? Question mark. No OMG. <laughs> I got to use my magical bad powers. I'm sorry. Okay, so guys, I punched this thingy. And I was trying to break it, but it like changed. And now I have a mag plant. There's no active. Oh, I have to activate it. Okay, so now it's activated. And you can see the um, remote down in my inventory, it actually changes to show what item I guess I'm using currently. And so I'm. Hold on. I probably have to put items in here. And so I'm guessing when I. Hold on. Oh, look at this. This is actually incredible. Oh my gosh. Hold up. Okay, so guys, you see there's 27 dirt in my inventory. When I place it, the dirt's not going anywhere. But that's because I put the dirt in this machine. And so it's taking it out of this machine. And so that means for world build... For world builders? So that means for world builders, it's basically like you can put... Up to, I'm guessing, so the 5,000 means it, it's up to 5,000 storage. And so you can put 5,000 of any one block that you want and then just place it from that into here. And you don't have to worry about uh, placing 200 and then having to go grab 200 more. You can just keep placing through there. Um, so honestly, any world builders out there, this is a pretty useful item for you guys. And honestly, I'm pretty sure I'll be using it a lot too. Actually, you know what? I want to try something really cool. How many spaces does a builder log take up? I don't even know. Okay, so what I'm thinking now is that now that I have this builder lock here, I could allow anybody to come into my world and farm trees or blocks, and they will be able to collect the gems while the seeds and the blocks will just go to two mag whatever i don't even remember what this thing was called what is this thing called again mag plant 5000 um, i'll buy another one and put it there um, one will be blocks and then one one will be seeds and people can just come and farm whatever they want from here so actually yeah that's what i'm gonna do right now how much do these sell for though buy magna plant plant did i just spell that wrong again what is this called Mag plant. Oh my gosh. <laughs> mag plant. Buy mag plant. Okay. So 155? Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? That's just not happening here. So um, what we're going to do is I'm going to take another hit to the gem bank. Uh, and I'm just going to buy another one. Rest in peace gems. Uh, what's a good... F Actually, no. We're just going to test this out with dirt first. So I'm going to have a dirt block in there. And then I'm gonna have seed in there. Okay, actually, I'm going to bring an alt in here. Just a random guest account. Um, and then I'm gonna test this out. Okay, there we go. Okay. <laughs> I need to activate the freaking lock first. Allow anyone... Allow only building. What? Oh, allow anyone to build or break. Once these trees are done, I guess... Yeah, so I guess players could um, could really just use this as a gem farmer, I guess. If they wanted to break blocks in somebody's world, they could use that as a way to get gems or something. But actually, something that would be pretty useful would be if I were to go... Let me go grab my chandeliers. So, <laughs> I sold all my shans like an idiot. If someone were to come into the world non-access, they could just break the blocks for gems only. Oh, I'm an idiot. Again, yet again, I failed to realize what I'm doing. Change item. Choose item. Pinball. And then we put the pinball seed in there. So now what should happen is if I have an alt break it, all that's going to pop out is the gems. And then the seeds and the blocks will go towards the machines. And then I will be able to get that. Level 2! Yeah, see, okay, so this would be honestly really useful for people who are making break worlds or something. Um, and then they could put the items in there for people to actually harvest and leave them opened. If someone's looking to just say mass, produ mass produce an item, 
um, I guess they could go and do this method instead and not worry about gems. This would be a lot faster way. So people could come to their world, they would break the blocks and get gems only, but the owner will be able to get the seeds and the blocks if they want um, through having two of these things, which is honestly, that's pretty cool. And then what you could do is activate one of these things and then you could just, and then you could just re replant from there the, the items that are stored up in there if you want to just keep going along with that. Honestly, this may be one of like the most useful item of the months that have come. Can I recycle this remote? Okay, it doesn't even give you anything. So <laughs> imagine it gave you gems and you could just keep getting one from the machine. That would be broken. So I'm actually going to go now and see how much I can sell these for. Oh my gosh, it takes nine years to break. Oh, and I have to empty it before I break it. Of course I do. I bet I could sell them for pretty good. Um, there's a uh, spammer in here, so uh, I'll be right back. Okay, now that I uh, just took care of that spammer, <laughs> we're gonna see how much we can sell for. 290 world box for both of these. That's actually a pretty sweet deal. At least for now, that's a pretty pretty sweet profit on how much I spent on it. And plus, I mean, I, I have had those gems sitting in my inventory for so long that I just... I needed to spend it on something. And plus, I still have 900k left, so... Guys, give this new item a try. It's... I don't know, it's it's honestly maybe one of the most useful item of the months that have come out in a while. Um, it's not a clothing item, like, I know a lot of people like clothing item, I don't know, item of the month, item of the, bleh, item of the months, but I don't know. It, I was kind of tired of them, and it's nice to see a block every now and then that has cool new features like this. So honestly, in the future, I'm expecting worlds to come out that have like, break things where people are able to go there and break items that are in a lock um, and then they only get the gems from that um, and they don't get uh, blocks or seeds um, I think that that's a possibility for worlds in the future for for world for owners who really are just trying to uh, mass produce an item or something like that and so yeah honestly it should be really cool to see what happens with that but even just for farmers I would think it would be pretty useful, um, and it would just make things a whole lot faster. Um, and so you really only have to collect gems that come out of trees if you have two of these in the world, one for seeds, one for blocks. Um, and then you don't have to constantly go and get up to 200 items, and then having to go drop that off, and then going and farming again. It's just a faster, more efficient process if you were to um, spend gems and buy one of these things. So yes, I would, honestly, I definitely would recommend this. Oh, what the... <laughs> I feel like I'm playing teaching real life friends. Oh my gosh, he just died again. <laughs> I'm having way too much fun with this. <laughs> I'm gonna think. Oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, <laughs> what am I doing? This is mean. I need to give this kid a world log or something. Oh, he just left. I was going to give him a world log. Dang it. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, this has been the new item of the month. Um, I hope you guys uh, found it useful. Anyways, guys, if you want to join my Discord server, the Discord link is down below. All you have to do is go to Discord and then add a server and type in the Discord invite code SHADOWSURFER. If you want to join a community and talk to a bunch of people and talk to me, and a bunch of other really cool people in the Grotopia community, you can join that server. Anyways, other than that, subscribe if you're new, give the video a like if you enjoyed, and this is Shadow Server signing out. See ya!